I wonder how many drivers have like pump up music. I mean, like, you know, we should I, ask I Ben Rhodes. I, I'm gonna guess that most professional drivers they don't they don't have something like this because it kind of seems like a little gimmicky to be like, oh yeah, every time I fire up the car, I got to hear "Bad to the Bone" or something like that. <laughs> Imagine once you're a professional, it's like, no man, this is my job. I don't have to get jacked up for it every time I go out there. Well, you you trust me, Ross, when it comes to racing. Yeah, it's my passion. This guy's an up and comer. Uh, he's a really big deal when it comes to uh, the the NASCAR Truck Series, and he'll he's a name you'll be seeing on Sundays here uh, before too long, and he'll be a regular in Victory Lane. His name is Ben Rhodes, and he will be racing at the Knoxville Raceway for the Camping World Truck Series on Friday, July 9th. Ben, welcome to the show, buddy. How are you doing today? Yeah, doing good, guys. Thanks for having me. Well, it's good to it's good to have you on, man. Do you uh, have a Do you have a pump up song, Ben? Yeah, yeah, when you, yeah, yeah. When you get ready, do you, when you get ready, do you fire in some uh, you know Rage Against the Machine or I don't know? Are you 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 sound like a younger guy? Are you a Bieber fan? Are you what, what's your deal? Bieber. Oh come on, come on, come on, Ross. Know, so I'm going to ask you: Do you guys have a song that you have to listen to every day? Going hell to no. Crazy? That's exact, that's exactly. That's why I was like, no. I listen no to way, Tupac. Man. Yeah, you listen to Tupac. He listens to Hit 'Em Up. <laughs> uh, back in rural Iowa, Ben, that's a big song. It was a big, big part of. Reminds Chris of his mother, so he likes to listen to some hardcore yeah, rap. I'm sure, <laughs> I've been to the Iowa Speedway enough to kind of know what the demographic is. <laughs> yeah, man, what do you think is going to happen there? You think you guys are going to get back there? Now that you brought that up, we we're huge Iowa Speedway fans, man, and it. Man, I went out breaks there. Our, the, breaks our heart to think of what could happen. I went there, out ben. there the other day, and it looked like a salvage yard. Yeah. There were just torn up rig it was it made me really sad i've watched you guys out there for so many years you think we'll get back there you know i i really don't know a similar story just happened to my home track kentucky speedway so you know i I know exactly how it feels they're parking um f-250s 350s 150s uh out there at the track right now it's the biggest i mean it's the biggest parking lot for those trucks i've ever seen and then they're also parking a whole bunch of um big rig trailers out there it's just a big storage facility right now so I don't know. I, I, I feel the same way about Iowa as I do Kentucky. I think it deserves a race. And uh, to see him just sitting there going to waste, I think it's a big shame. Well, it, at the very least, and it's not the least, we're, we're really excited. We've been calling for Knoxville to get a NASCAR event for a long time. Ross and I, Ben, are both dirt. We're dirt fans first, is where we both grew up watching racing like a lot of people. I grew up here in Des Moines, uh, Ben, so like you talk about the Kentucky Speedway, that would be, Knoxville to me was the Speedway that I grew up going to. Well, and the second Eldora got that truck race, we were like, man, like, yeah, we ma- could do that at, sense. at, at Knoxville, yeah. and I even think after watching Bristol, like, we could have a cup race at Knoxville, we've got a good enough facility, so what are your thoughts? Um, you've you've raced at Eldora four times. Now you're going to go to the sprint car capital of the world. Are you excited for this? Yeah, no, I agree with you guys. There's no reason that, uh, trucks shouldn't be racing there. No reason that, um, cups shouldn't be racing there either. I, I look, I've driven past Knoxville many a time. I've dreamed of racing on that place in a sprint car. I never thought hmm. of being the truck to be honest. Um, uh, but I'll take it right. Like uh, getting a race to the track is, is a race. Um, but I think I think it's going to put on a really good show. Um, you know, we all saw how Bristol turned out this year. Uh, I, I think you know going to a place that's actually purpose built for dirt is going to be a big plus. Um, so yeah, I'm just excited, and I can't make any predictions. I'll go ahead and throw that out there right now. <laughs> Anytime I make a prediction, it's always the opposite <laughs> comes true. So. Uh, no predictions from me. Try doing sports talk radio for a living, yeah. Ben. Drew. We're wrong. All the, we're we're wrong like eighty percent of the time. Ben. Our show's in the afternoon, and I'm wrong six times before <laughs> breakfast. Man, it's a bad deal. So you lost your crystal ball, is what you're saying? A long time ago, my friend. That's right. Yeah. Right, so I want to. There's a couple things I want to talk about with uh, with your career, but you said something that intrigued me. You said you've always kind of dreamed of maybe, or you thought that maybe when you were at Knoxville, you'd race in a sprint car. What are what's your future path? What are you? If I gave you the magic wand and said uh, you're going to end up where someday, what does the path look like for you to get to that final destination? And what's that final destination? I have not a clue. <laughs> um, here's the thing: I love racing. Okay, and when whenever I was growing up doing it, and you know you're climbing the ladders, this young driver, 
you've got all these dreams and aspirations to be the youngest driver to win a championship in the series, the youngest driver to win this race. And, you know, you want to be the trailblazer, you know, the trailblazer, you want to be the guy that sets all the records. And, um, you know, the reality of it is, is there's only one person that can set the record and the chances that you're going to set all of them (laughs) isn't, uh, isn't the case. Right. So, uh, for me, you know, I'm racing the truck series now, Thor Sport Racing. I've been here for, I guess I'm in my sixth, yeah, my sixth season or so now. Um, and, and look, I'm loving what I do. I, I don't know what the future holds. I mean, uh, if it was somebody gave me a call and said, you know, you're doing IndyCar, or you're doing Cup, you're doing, you know, sprint cars, whatever, as long as I'm racing and I'm competitive, I'm winning races, I'm happy. And Thor Sport Racing's been that home for me, right? They've allowed me to go win races right now where. You know, we're second in points. We're we're trying to get ourselves our first championship this year, and we're we're doing pretty good on on keeping on pace to do that. So I have not a clue what the future holds. Anytime I again, anytime I make a prediction, <laughs> my crystal ball was shattered and lost a long time ago. So I have not a clue. I, I can't even tell you what tomorrow I'm going to do. Ben Rhodes, five career wins in the Truck Series with NASCAR, will be racing at the Knoxville Raceway. On Friday, July 9th. Not his, uh, not his first time racing in Iowa. You've been, been, been in Iowa multiple times. Yep, yep, yeah. he has been. And here's my question for you. See, you, I'm doing a little research here. You kind of cut your, you never, you're not a dirt guy, right? Just in not general? No. So <laughs> walk me through that because oftentimes I will watch the, like, for instance, when you all were in Bristol. I'm with you. I I enjoyed it. I'm really glad that NASCAR is spreading its wings and doing different things. But I said to a lot of my friends, even as cool as that was, that's not dirt racing. That it they put dirt on a asphalt track that looks like a um, they're sliding around a little bit, but that's not the same thing. Eldora watching you guys is totally different. That it, at least from my standpoint. Do you agree with that? Like, did it feel vastly different being on that Bristol track compared to Eldora and what you expect from Knoxville? Yeah, I, I would totally agree with that. I mean, and if you look at the results at Bristol, the asphalt guys um, ran up front. The, the guys that had no experience in dirt were the ones that were running up front. I think that just, it to me, it raced like an asphalt track. It had shades of old Bristol. It was, you know, the bottom was fast. Charging the corners hard was fast. Like, you were doing so many things that, you you know you really weren't expecting or, or expecting to do really on a dirt on a dirt race right so i think everybody had their eye on these these dirt drivers and then the race turned out being kind of like a slicked off asphalt track almost um so yeah going to an actual dirt track i think will be more dirt racy and friendly to these stock cars i mean we're not built for dirt but we can put on a good show on dirt i think um it just has to we're we're very you know we're very conditions specific we're very uh, you know track specific on how we're going to run so i think i think knoxville is going to be great for us and you know having never been there though um i, I haven't a clue if we're going to be on the bottom we're going to go to the top I, and it, like i said anytime i make a prediction they'll come out with the sheep's <laughs> foot they'll tear up the place we'll they'll put water here and water there and before i know it we're upside down well, i don't know what's going on <laughs> i'll say this ben you're 24 i'm 36 so i've uh i've, I've probably watched truck racing longer than you have you guys aren't meant for dirt, but you're more meant for dirt Damn. than you were being in a wind yeah. tunnel. And yeah, right, and it's a this, hell of a lot of fun. Yeah, for, like, I'm glad to see... I mean, I, I grew up Mike Skinner and those boys beating on each other, and I, I like seeing the trucks do that. Oh, I agree. I agree. I, I wish there was more short tracks on our schedule, too. Well, it um, feels you know, like NASCAR's getting there, man. I feel, I feel like we're heading in the right direction there. I do too. I do too. The changes, these changes are, you know, the first footsteps that need to be taken. Ben, thanks, man. This was a lot of fun. Uh, big fan. Uh, kick some butt. Where are you guys at this weekend? Are you, I haven't even seen. Uh, uh, Charlotte. Charlotte. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, man, we got the, <laughs> it's Memorial Day weekend. There you go. Well, Ben, uh, best of luck. We'll come out and be uh, cheering you on on July 9th when the trucks come to the Knoxville Raceway. See you, pal. Perfect, guys. Looking forward to it. Thanks. All right. Thank you very much. That's Ben Rhodes right there. As he mentioned, second in points in the NASCAR trucks. KnoxvilleRaceway.com. Here's one thing. Um, while we're talking Knoxville, the superstar racing experience that we promoted last week. Yep. SRX. They had a new entrant into that for Knoxville. This is one of my heroes. 
Scott Bloomquist. No way! He's going to be racing in the SRX at Knoxville. The bad boy. Yeah, of, the Dale Earnhardt of wow. late models. Fired up, man. Uh, I know a couple other people that are that are going to be fired up about that. Very cool. Yeah. Uh, coming up this weekend, it's the Knoxville Hospital and Clinics Slideways Night. Oh, I love Slideways, man. we got to get out there and do that. We have a Fanatics Day at Slideways. Uh, that'd be a great idea. Do like invite a full a, feature. Invite a bunch of our listeners down there and do yeah. heat races and features. Oh, my God. All right. Five o'clock hours next. KXNO AM Des Moines. KXNO FM Ankeny. KKDM HD 2 KKDM.